Okay, what we have here is a M62 TU 4.4 liter engine Vanos unit. I'm going to attempt to do a dissection and res resurrection of it to show you how it works. Essentially, this is what it looks like to begin with. I did some machining on this so I can take it apart. And what you first, I'll just dump it all out. And then we will go about putting it back together piece by piece so you can see how it all works and what you get with the Bizon system. Alright, first thing we have is a little bumper that goes into the bottom of the piston well. Then we have the piston itself with an o-ring or a piston, group, piston ring on it that I'm not going to put back on for right now for ease of assembly and that drops into the actual cylinder of the Vanos unit you can see there's some internal grooves cut that mesh, mesh with those external grooves and that drops down in there just like that and rides up and down and then what you have is your plastic uh, o-ring and seal parts Drop the first one in there, and you can see here are the pins that they use for testing if your uh, piston is getting fully retracted to its retard position. Basically all that does is it gets in contact. This will sit in there like that. This piston down here will contact the pin there. You put your ohm meter on there to see if you have connection continuity to the Vanos sauna or the Vanos gear. It tells you if you're in the fully retracted or retarded position. So, anyways, we will drop that ring in there. Uh, this is the first O ring to go in. This is the one you do not get with the Bizon system. That's the one that um, they put the press on it because it's not replaceable the way they do it. Um, they put a press on it to seal that up and basically make it uh, a permanent seal. And then on the inside of this plastic ring you have an O-ring and the original Teflon ring. This is what gets replaced in the Bizon system. You can see, we'll see if you can see on here there is a pretty good lip right there that formed because this one is pretty well wore. No idea how many miles are on this, but it, it just came off a set that I got my hands on that I'm playing around with. Anyways, and the O ring holds the Teflon seal like that, and what that rides on is the center gear makes a seal on this surface right there. So that's where that Teflon seal is and that's what gets replaced to rebuild your Vanos. But that sits right inside of the plastic carrier group here and line up the pins with there with its mating part and it should be sitting in there just like that. Now, uh, if you were doing this with the Bison way, you'd have to pick all, pick that little O-ring out and that Teflon through this groove, which looks like it's a whole lot of fun. And then on goes the center part. And then with my little machining here, I made a cap. Spins on there to replace the the flanged part that held that plastic unit in there and that's what I came up with to do a complete rebuild. As you can see on this, this is the how the piston works inside there. If this thing's in the engine, this is the front of the engine, this is rotating in a clockwise direction and with the piston fully retracted in its retard position, all the oil is towards the front of the piston pushing it back going to be in this position. As oil is 
directed to the rear of the piston pushing it forward you get 20 degrees of movement in the cam so it'll be 20 degrees advance and then back to its full retard position and that's all I got